example. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to use logistic models with categorical predictors. And we're also going to see how to uh, use these categorical predictors in conjunction with uh, covides as well. So here we are going to be using a categorical predictor, which is passenger class with three modalities right here, first class, second class and third class. Uh, and we're going to be using this variable to study the probability of survival. And then we're going to see um, uh, how we can control for age, which is a numeric uh, predictor uh, in this data set as well. So uh, we're going to go to analyze generalized linear models. And so first we have to select binary logistic. That's what we're, what we're going to perform here, a binary logistic regression or model, maybe more generally here, binary logistic. Uh, we will then go into response, select survived as our response variable. We're going to click on reference category over here, just to make sure that we predict the probability of survival. So we are going to use as baseline or as base category reference category, no, so that we predict the probability of yes versus no. We could also select first here because that's also the first value because in the data we have one for no and two for yes. So here I'm going to select custom and one. Then I'm going to go into predictors and in my model, I will, uh, sorry, in my predictors, I will choose passenger class over here. I can, uh, likewise, I can select which uh, category will be used as a baseline category and how uh, this viable is going to be uh, coded. Uh, I'm going to keep the default here, uh, which uh, I believe will use the third category, uh, third class as baseline. Um, and we can ch we could change that, of course, uh, we can then go into model and we'll choose the effect of passenger class here, the main effect. We're also going to have an intercept by default, which is fine. We're going to go then into statistics. Uh, we're going to choose likelihood ratio tests they are usually preferable uh, for confidence intervals as well. And we are going to uh, select uh, here to get exponential parameter estimates, in other words, odds ratio. Uh, it might be useful also to uh, click here into EM means, which in this case is going to give us predicted uh, probabilities for each passenger class. So in other words, the probability of survival per this model for each passenger class. So here we're going to just select this right here. That's really it. We keep here compute means for response. That means that it's going to give us um, a prediction that is on the scale of the response. In other words, it's going to give us a prediction that is scaled as a probability uh, rather than as a, as a log odds as we would have here. Uh, and that's, uh, that's really it. We're going to click on OK. OK, so first, is there an effect of passenger class, we can look at this through the likelihood ratio test, there's a test of the effect of passenger class over here. Uh, so this compares a model with passenger class, and an intercept versus only an intercept. Um, so here we see um, k square is uh, 108, etc. Degrees of freedom two. Um, and the p value is below 0 0.001. So in other words, we have a significant effect of passenger class. As a side note, because we're comparing a model that has uh, as only predictor passenger class versus an intercept only model over here on this line, it's actually completely consistent with the omnibus test, which we have here, we could check that the p values are the same. Well, they're so, uh, so low that um, they are actually rounded here. Um, but we see that it's the same chi square. Um, however, this is not um, well, in this case, uh, uh, this would not be an, uh, this would only be asymptotically uh, equivalent to uh, world versions of these tests. Okay, and so then we have the different estimates right here. So we see that uh, the class three is actually, is actually used as baseline. And so what we see over here is, um, is, um, uh, in these um, estimates, even though it's, it's going to be easier to read uh, below, um, is notably here in the exponentiated slopes, right here, 
so these two, right, with their confidence intervals. This tells us um, that here, for um, so if a passenger goes from class three to class two, so they, they get an increase in one class, basically, um, here um, we see that their odds of survival are multiplied by 2.225. So in other words, their odds of survival are multiplied by a number larger than one. In other words, they are increased. And we see that they are even further increased in class one here. So this tells us that as a passenger uh, goes from class three to class one, so they gain two classes basically, then their odds of survival, their predicted odds of survival at least, uh, are multiplied by 4.963. So they are increased. We also have, uh, so we have their, the predicted probabilities here. Uh, probability, predicted probability of survival is 0 0.26 uh, for class three, 0.44 for class two, and 0.64 for class one. We also have confidence intervals around these, so we could build a plot with these uh, estimates if we wanted to. Now, if we wanted to also get um, pseudo R squares uh, for this effect, unfortunately, we cannot get that from that menu. But the trick we would need to use is we would need to dummy code our variable first and then use the logistic regression menu. The way we would do that is uh, um, somewhat simple. So we're going to go into data. Um, oh, sorry, uh, transform, not data. And uh, we're going to click into create dummy variables. We're going to select passenger class, which we are going to dummy code. We're not going to change uh, anything. We're just going to give a name here. Let's call it dummy as a, a root name. And then we're going to click on OK. So once we do that, we see that we have new dummy variables that are created right here. So for class one, we have um, here a dummy variable. For class two, we have another dummy variable. You see that right here for class two, this is one, etc. Uh, so to keep things consistent, we are going to use the third category as baseline. So let's just remove this one. Right, so we have the same dummy coding as the one we had in the previous analysis. Uh, we don't need to do to do that. Uh, but it's just to be consistent with the previous analysis. Uh, I'm going to go into Analyze now and into Regression, Binary Logistic. And now I will use, so Survived is going to be my dependent variable, but now we'll, I will use these two dummy variables as covariates. So the first one and the second one. And now if I click on OK, I should be getting my pseudo R square over here. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.